Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Talk Wild. Your girl Tay here and I'm back with another animal and wildlife update. We have some news that is coming through. As you guys may or may not know, Ohio's East Palestine community has suffered from an, an environmental disaster. They had a train derailment and it's been a mess, you know. Uh, so I want to give you guys an update what's been going on uh, with the animals and what's being reported. I want to start off by saying my heart and prayers are with the people affected by this horrible disaster. Currently, the people of East Palestine are reporting different symptoms. They are having like headaches and respiratory issues. They are also, you know, concerned about their drinking water being contaminated, even though officials have told them it's safe. Multiple videos online showed cloudy water coming from their faucets and various animals living in the streams are dead. The fish and frogs are dead and floating upside down and multiple streams and waterways in East Palestine. According to the Ohio Emergency Management Agency, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources has not received any additional reports of deceased wildlife. The total estimate number of aquatic animals killed remains at approximately 3,500. Those animals were found in Sulphur Run, Leslie Run, Bull Creek, and a portion of the North Fork of Beaver Creek. Most of the fish appear to be small suckers, minnows, darters, and sculpins. Most of these deaths are believed to have been caused by the immediate release of contaminants into the water. Prior to the mitigation efforts put in place following the crash, ODNR has not found any evidence of continued risk to aquatic life, but officers will continue sampling waterways. They also report that the Ohio Department of Agriculture has received tissue samples from a six-week-old beef calf that died on February 11, 2023, in an area located approximately two miles from East Palestine. ODA's Animal Disease Diagnostic Laboratory is performing a diagnostic workup to determine if a cause of death can be identified. The Ohio Department of Agriculture continues to assure Ohioans that its food supply is safe and the risk to livestock remains low following the East Palestine's train derailment. There is no information to suggest that pets are not safe outside, but if you believe your domestic animal has been sickened as a result of the train derailment, please contact your local veterinarian. Both of these updates were made on February the 16th. No other animal updates have been made on their website since basically that's it guys that's all the information i'll keep you guys updated with any new information that comes out but as of right now on their website no other animal updates have been made i did post a new let's talk wild podcast episode breaking down this whole environmental disaster on the let's talk wild podcast and platforms everywhere make sure you guys check it out it's episode 20 ohio's environmental disaster the derailment of their ecosystems so make sure you guys follow me on all social media check out you know the podcast on all podcasting platforms make sure you guys like the video please subscribe to the channel love yourself love one another and most importantly love your pets and the animals i'll talk to you guys next time bye